In 2016, Saudi Arabia launched one of the most ambitious plans in modern history, Vision 2030. Whatever your preconceived notion of Saudi Arabia as a travel destination is, it's about to get a major renovation. Imagine Sindala, a seven-star private island resort with three ultralux hotels, 38 high-end restaurants, and multiple super yacht marinas. Or Kadia, a futuristic city of 600,000 people rising from the desert floor dedicated to esports and gaming. How about Trojena, a space-age ski resort built above the high desert? Or the Red Sea, a vast waterscape of 50 luxury resorts and 8,000 hotel rooms spread across 22 islands in a Maldives-style archipelago powered entirely by wind and solar energy. At the heart of this initiative lies Neom, a $500 billion megacity that promises to redefine urban living. It's progressing fast. 140,000 construction workers on site. But here's where things get even more fascinating. Neom may soon feature Hyperloop technology, a transportation system that could cut travel times from hours to minutes. Could this futuristic plan revolutionize not just Saudi Arabia, but the world? Hyperloop is a revolutionary transit concept. The idea is simple yet groundbreaking. Passengers travel in pods through a low pressure tube using magnetic levitation. This allows speeds of up to 1,078 kilometers per hour. In theory, a trip from Riyadh to Jeddah, which currently takes over 10 hours by car, could be completed in under an hour. The concept was first popularized by entrepreneur Elon Musk in 2013, and since then, companies like Virgin Hyperloop have been leading the charge to make it a reality. While Hyperloop technology is still in the testing phase, some significant milestones have been achieved. For example, Virgin Hyperloop successfully carried passengers at 172 kilometers per hour during a test in 2020. Saudi Arabia is uniquely positioned to adopt this technology. Its vast landscapes and ambitious infrastructure projects make it an ideal testing ground for Hyperloop. Neom, with its focus on sustainability and cutting edge innovation, is a natural candidate for implementing this system. Key elements of Neom include the line, a linear city that stretches over 170 kilometers designed to house 9 million people with no cars, streets, or carbon emissions. Everything you need will be within a five-minute walk. Oxagon, an octagonal industrial hub described as the world's largest floating structure focused on advanced manufacturing and research. Trojana, a futuristic mountain resort offering year-round skiing and other leisure activities. Neom is also powered by 100% renewable energy with wind, solar, and hydrogen technologies forming its backbone. But what's driving this vision? The answer lies in Vision 2030, a blue blueprint launched by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. This initiative aims to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy away from oil dependency and position the kingdom as a leader in innovation and sustainable development. Neom is the jewel of this plan, showcasing what cities of the future could look like. But creating such a city in the middle of the desert comes with challenges. This is where Hyperloop technology enters the picture, offering a solution to one of the project's key logistical hurdles, transportation. In fact, Saudi Arabia has already taken steps toward making this a reality. In 2019, Virgin Hyperloop signed a partnership with the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology to study the feasibility of a Hyperloop system. The proposed routes could connect Neom with major Saudi cities like Riyadh and Jeddah, as well as other countries in the Gulf region. But why is Hyperloop so important to Neom? It solves two major problems. Time. In a city designed for efficiency, the ability to travel quickly across vast distances is essential. Sustainability. Hyperloop systems produce zero direct emissions, aligning perfectly with Neom's commitment to renewable energy. Despite its potential, Hyperloop faces significant challenges. Developing the necessary infrastructure is costly, with estimates ranging from 20 to 40 million dollars per kilometer. Safety concerns also need to be addressed, particularly in the event of an emergency inside the sealed tube. Yet, Saudi Arabia's determination to lead in innovation and its vast financial resources make it a strong contender for overcoming these hurdles. Can Saudi Arabia pull it off? While the idea of Hyperloop and Neom is thrilling, it's essential to examine both the challenges and opportunities that come with it. Developing Hyperloop technology is incredibly expensive. Given Neom's sprawling size, the total cost could easily exceed billions of dollars. Although Saudi Arabia has deep pockets, committing to such a high-risk technology may require significant international partnerships and private investments. Hyperloop is still in the experimental phase. Issues like maintaining low-pressure environments in long-distance tubes, ensuring passenger safety, and building reliable evacuation systems in emergencies are yet to be fully resolved. Globally, many critics question whether Hyperloop will ever become viable. Skepticism over costs, 
Feasibility and safety could dampen public enthusiasm, which is critical for securing global support and investment. Saudi Arabia's desert climate poses unique challenges. Extreme temperatures, frequent sandstorms, and seismic activity could complicate construction and maintenance of Hyperloop infrastructure. Other countries, including India, the United States, and the United Arab Emirates, are also racing to implement Hyperloop systems. Saudi Arabia will need to move quickly to stay ahead in this high-stakes competition. Investing in Hyperloop and NEOM aligns with Saudi Arabia Arabia's Vision 2030 goal of reducing dependence on oil revenues. By positioning itself as a leader in futuristic technologies, the kingdom could attract global investors and innovators. A Hyperloop system could connect NEOM not only to major Saudi cities but also to neighboring countries like the United Arab Emirates and Qatar. This would strengthen economic ties and position Saudi Arabia as a central hub for regional trade and tourism. Hyperloop's reliance on renewable energy and its zero-emission operations perfectly align with NEOM's sustainability goals. This could set a global example for environmentally conscious urban planning. If Saudi Arabia successfully implements Hyperloop technology, it could become a global leader in transportation innovation. This would enhance its international reputation and influence, solidifying its role as a key player in the fourth industrial revolution. Virgin Hyperloop has expressed strong interest in partnering with Saudi Arabia, citing its willingness to embrace cutting-edge technologies. The King Abdullah Economic City has already hosted Hyperloop test runs, and NEOM's developers have hinted at integrating Hyperloop into their broader transportation strategy. Moreover, former NEOM CEO, Nadmi Al Nasser, has emphasized that the city will not only adopt the latest technologies, but also set new standards for global innovation. If Hyperloop is successfully integrated, it could redefine how we think about transportation, not just in Saudi Arabia, but worldwide. Saudi Arabia's ambitious plan to integrate Hyperloop technology into NEOM represents a bold vision for the future. While the challenges are significant, ranging from cost and technical barriers to global competition, the opportunities are equally compelling. NEOM is a declaration that Saudi Arabia is ready to lead the world in sustainable development and futuristic technology. The potential inclusion of Hyperloop solidifies this vision, promising faster travel, cleaner energy, and stronger regional connectivity. But whether this vision becomes a reality depends on several factors. Can Saudi Arabia overcome the technical and financial challenges? Will Hyperloop technology mature in time to be integrated into NEOM? And perhaps most importantly, will this bold experiment inspire the rest of the world to rethink how cities and transportation systems are built? As NEOM continues to rise from the desert sands, one thing is clear. Saudi Arabia is no longer looking to the future, it's building it.